Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Phonics with Mr Boddington. Um, I've just seen Zag and he's a bit confused. He he went out for a walk with some of his friends, um, some of his alien friends, but they got to where the field where they were going and there were some posters up and the poster has really confused him. Hmm. So it's got a picture of an alien and a big cross for it. Maybe he put it close to the bottom. Because this is the bit that was confusing him. Let me get it up here. We all know that that says no. Now, I thought it said A lions. A lions. A lions? But he was like, what's an A line? Because he knows A, U, I, M. Mm. A line, A line. But the picture is an alien. Alien. In this I U filed. A lion filed. He was an alien in a field. Do you think this is one of those tricky alternative sounds? That although sometimes this makes an I, sometimes it also makes an E sound, okay? So, a, u, e, m. E, u, u. Alien field. Now, whoever's putting these up in fields, I don't think that's very kind. Aliens should be allowed to go in the field. Aliens are just the same as us and they should be treated the same as us. Do not stop Zag and his friends going out for lovely walks in the field as long as they are staying two metres apart. I think there was nothing wrong with that. Hmm. So, whoever's doing that, stop that. E. So we're going to be looking at this. But first, what I've got from here... I'm going to wrap, run and grab some blue tack quickly because I need blue tack for this bit. Oh, I'll use this little bit here. Let's see if I've got enough here. And if not, there's some just on my desk. So, with our IE, we can say it like I is in pie, or E is in field. Confusing the English language. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you some words, and you need to tell me whether they go in the I or the E. Okay. First one. Let's have a look at this. Now is this U eyes lies or is it U E S lies? You're right, it's lies. Although I'm not lying, it is in the right one. Okay, well, why did I write this down? You should know this one straight away. You're right, alien. We just looked at that one, haven't we? Oh, this one is a weird one. Is it Iris Pierce? Doesn't sound right, does it? Iris Pierce. Pierce in your ear. Or piercing a balloon would have been a better one. Pierce. Those. I or E? Is it quiet or quiet? I quiet. Really tricky to pick up sometimes. This one. We tried. We treed. We tried. You're right. Now, some of you will be guessing which one this goes in already because it's our last one. Let's have a look. Real tricky one. Can you see? Don't want to get too close. How's that? I. 
hygiene or hygiene? Hmm. Hygiene is good. Yeah, after all, you were right. That's going on that one. So, we've done some word sorts. See if you can find any other words with IE in, and then see whether you can work out if it's an I or an E. Okay? Learning words is a good, fun way to make sure you know which way it is. Now, there we go. Now we've practiced reading it with an E sound. That's what I want you to now apply and show me how brilliant you are. So, can you have a go at reading these sentences for me? My niece has a fierce shield. My niece has a fierce shield. Did you read that correctly? Okay, let's have a look at another one. I love a stinky, stinky piece of brie. Do you know what brie is? Brie is a lovely cheese that Miss Bonington likes. I had a brie and cranberry sandwich from Dorrington's the other day. Oh, that was delicious. Last sentence. See, that looks a bit confusing to me. I'll write it above it. Let me see. I made a mistake. I believe that I can achieve a loud shriek. <coughs> Not very loud. Can you do better? <laughs> Don't. If you if you start shrieking, your mum and dad's going to think, wonder what the, what do I've fallen off my chair and hurt myself? And you go, ah! Don't shriek. Especially not that loud. Okay, good. So, with our alternatives, we realise oh, that the IE can be said as an I or an E. Okay? So keep reading and keep practising. Okay? And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.